Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to perform date calculation on Windows 10 and Windows 11 using the built-in calculator app. Now you might have run into situations where you need to figure out how many days there are between two dates. Um, for example, you want to figure out how many days are left before Christmas or the New Year, or between two dates of your choosing. Or you want to figure out how many, um, what date will it be after a certain number of days has passed. So for example, if you're tracking a deadline or a due date or a milestone or anything like that. So some of you may have glanced into the calendar here in the corner, um, counted off the number of days, um, or you know did some other things like that. Some of you may have gone to the internet and you know tried searching for something or a tool to calculate dates. It turns out in Windows 10 and 11, the built-in calculator app can actually do date calculations like the ones we've mentioned earlier. So to do, to do, to use those tools, start menu and open the calculator app. Um, in Windows 11 it's among pinned apps but if it's not there you can go to all apps and calculator to use it as well. We have our standard calculator here by default. Um, I want you to open this menu here and uh, under the calculator category we want to choose date calculation. So you'll notice that under date calculation we have two modes difference between dates and add or subtract days. So let's talk about difference between dates first. So this is for the first scenario where you need to figure out, how, let's say, how many days between, um, between, let's say, today, as of the making of this video, June 20th, or Christmas, let's say December 25th. So let's pick one of the dates, the two date. So I'm going to pick um, December here. So you could use these arrows to scroll among months, but if you find that too tedious, like December is kind of a way, we can also click on the month name to get to a view of all the months in the year 2023. I can use these arrows to go to different years, or if I don't think that, you know, let's say, let's say it's in 2030, for example, I've got to scroll all the way down, or you could just click on the year and click 2030, and you'll get right to 2030, all the months in 2030. Um, and stuff like that. So in this case we want to calculate the number of days between today and Christmas 2023. So I'm just gonna choose 2023 and under the year 2023 I'll choose December and I'm gonna choose 25. So calculator tells me um, between today June 20th and December 25 it's going to be six months and five days apart um, or 188 days. Um, or let's say I want to find out how many days are there between today and you know the start of the next decade, 2030 for instance. So I'm just going to do the same procedure, click the year, 2030, January 1st. So it tells me 6 years, 6 months, 1 week, 5 days. Or 2,387 days. So the calculator gives you two ways of you know giving the same answer, um, either in years, months, weeks and days, or number of days um, between the two dates. Now let's talk about the second use case, which is to figure out what date it's going to be um, when adding or subtracting days. So for example, um, your due date is going to be um, 30 days from now, for example. Let's do that calculation. So let's change modes to add or subtract days from June 20th, so that's today's date, or you can change this to any other date you like. We'll just leave it for today, and let's add, um, let's say, uh, um, 30 days to find out our due date for instance. So our bill is going to be due in 30 days. So we'll add 30 days. It gives us a date of Thursday, July 20th, 2023, which is 30 days um, from now. Or for example, I want to um, figure out what date it was 21 days ago. So for example, I'm going to pick subtract and under days I can choose 21. And if I want to figure out the date that's like um, eight years ago, let's change this to zero. Um, eight years ago, so it subtracts eight years, giving us June 20th, 2015. Or I can also mess with these boxes and you know get get a date. So for example, eight years, eight months, nine days in the past, for instance, from today is October 11th, 2014. So that's date calculation in the calculator app for Windows 11 and Windows 10. Now one more thing, this is especially important if you're on Windows 10.
please make sure your calculator app is updated. Um, if you're running a really old version of Windows, um, you know, as of the making of this video, the latest supported version is 22H2. But if you're running a much older version of Windows, um, like something that's released from 2021 or older, um, most probably your calculator application may look way different because it's the same one that's included with Windows 7. and even if you're running a relatively modern version of Windows, please make sure your calculator app is update up to date. Um, yeah, because you can update the calculator app through the Microsoft Store, um, or if by installing the latest version of Windows 10 or 11 to get you know date calculation. Because this feature doesn't even exist in older revisions of the calculator app. So that's it. That's date calculation on Windows 10 and 11. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching.